Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to my very first YouTube video. This video was done over four years ago <laughs> and it's on private for very good reason. I am embarrassed by it. I'm so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed if you go back that far anyway, but you know, YouTube is a journey and you learn as you go and makeup is a journey. Again, you learn as you go, skin care, everything. Everything is just a journey. Now, before I get into this video, I do wanna mention that I did recreate this eye look. I'm currently working on a video using all three of the Kaleidos Futurism palettes. So this eye look will be with the green look that I was wearing yesterday, as well as one more palette that I have to use. So just keep in mind if you're looking for this one or the green one, it is coming up. But without further ado, I'm gonna put in one of my ear pods. I'm gonna to listen to this horrifying video with you and I'm going to react to it. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of behind the scenes stuff, like things that were said, some things Kelsey said, and I just think it's funny. So let's, let's, let's go ahead. Here we go. Hey guys, my name is Mel, um, also known as Puffin's Wife on Puffin's Instagram. Wife, That's I know you guys remember that. Um, Try to tell you a few things about me before we start <laughs> off. This is my first YouTube video. You can see I'm, I'm terrified because I'm like all so hunched over me. and um, like freaked out. I work for Mac. I'm it's funny because I'm mentioning that I'm I'm covered in tattoos yet. You can't see um, any of them because I have this long Instagram, sleeve shirt on. I have on another shirt over top of that. Sorry, my hair is down when it would normally be in a um, mohawk. And I hope you guys enjoy. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I had not quite figured out my lighting yet, so I'm just or my camera, or a lot of things. I'm using the oh my gosh, and the Venus palette. So this had just so come out. I was so excited about this palette, and I remember I think it was the day First after, if at most two days after I filmed this video, there was this huge controversy that went on with Lime Crime. And I'm like, oh great, my very first video that I put out and now there's all this mess and drama. I was mortified. I was so scared I was gonna get hate comments. I'm putting this on a Marc Jacobs the, the Conceal brush. brush. That I remember hating that brush and then loving that brush and then hating that brush and then loving that brush. And I like my beauty blender better. So this is like also it. before I realized that okay, you could so edit back. certain things out. Now, like, you didn't I'm have to sit here and have everything type. on. Like, this could have been a six minute video Colored instead of a 20 right minute here. video. It's just like a bone colored shadow. Long like type, some things brow. never change. And, and there we have my Mac 242. A little thing I have to tell you guys you see this black sparkly hat? Kelsey was so mad at me. And we talked about this recently because I talked about wanting to do this video. And she said, I remember that stupid hat and you were covered up. Because I was so scared. You know, I'm very different to the beauty YouTube community. So I was like, I didn't put my hair up. I didn't have any of my tattoos showing. She goes, You don't even look like yourself. She was like yelling at me, like, not. And mad but like laughing yelling at me and she's like I kind of feel bad for being so mean to you but you wet stupid hat off the extra. I know and I am oh. gonna be applying this oh, the Mac 2 224 oh, I used to use that to brush so much right and I don't now Pushing but I like anyway back to the hat like I still have that I still have that hat and every time she uh -huh. sees it she mentions this video she's like oh I'm so mad at you for doing that <laughs> Okay, really next I'm going in with the MAC 286, which is a synthetic blend. You can use this for concealer, liquids, or for shadow. I love it for shadow. It's actually it did. It used to be like my ride or die for and blending. I love that thing so much. And now I couldn't even tell you the last time I used it. To this inner corner right here, almost making a line. All and fairness, though, I really love this eye look. I don't I think it was really captured on camera, color, but I really liked it. In this corner. The nails. Who remembers me always having acrylic nails, and now, like, I never have anything on them in general. But I only like to do that after I've placed most of the color in this V. Okay, 
Now I'm going back with that original 224, not putting any extra product in. Do I not I'm look like a scared two. little puffy? I look like a scared puffy. It is going to add a little bit of that gray divine color. I think I forgot. I was using... Let me blow on my palette real quick. <laughs> this reddish color at the bottom. That's the color I was just using. But this is just going to help blend away. See how far I was dragging everything out? I used but to I get in trouble. Not in trouble, but Mac, when I first started working there, they're like, Mel, you know you don't have to bring have everything out so far. Again, but you can stop over here. On Muse, and I refuse to. Extra, always refuse to. And apply a little bit more. Just because I want a little bit more color. Uh, and what's in my I'm hand right there? Light. That is diffused light from Hourglass. <laughs> I used to use that like nobody's that business here. for so long. Because I want this to be blended, but then I want a little bit more. Color. Oh, and the septum right ring. Woo, girl! I have so many hate comments. Like once I think I hit like much. around okay, ten thousand. I remember getting so many comments. Like, will you take that bull ring out of your nose? All this stuff is so funny. Having carved out and I kept and looking at the camera here, I was like with this color. all the time so because I was I didn't know what I was doing okay now that I've done that I'm going to take the 286 and put you see I could have cut all that out this shade right here called icon it's the darkest shade in the palette and I'm putting I this feel like right I look like I am 12 years death. old terrified and I don't know which mirror. Timidly showing you guys how to do a makeup look. Okay. And the same 224 is original. Another you know, fun fact, edge. when I, like, when I, right okay, before I did this video, I tried to do one and I threw color. a temper tantrum. I don't want it to get I'm not kidding. An absolute temper one. tantrum. Uh, I didn't know how to use a computer. I bought a computer. I bought a camera. I bought this background, everything to start YouTube. Right Kelsey was the one that got me into that this. And so I didn't know how to use any of it, clearly. So it and, uh, you got so mad. And I saw myself on camera and it absolutely freaked me out. I think that's why I kept being hunched over is because I didn't like it. Like now I can kind of stand up and be like, blah, you know. Don't be afraid to buff it over. I was terrified in this video. Add more color. See how that looks? I love this. It is a good palette though. I mean, I still like that palette. The whole reason why I got that palette is because I could not find that berry tone shade, that reddish color that now is everywhere like the modern renaissance. And I'm putting shell on it, which is this. See my lighting right going here. in and out. Tap off the extra. And this time, I don't really want to blend. I want to pack the color. So I'm going to press first so I don't get any fallout and then push it over my lid. I and for every one of you guys that are going to comment, Mel, I want your brown hair back. No. To blend it out, no. I always tap the extra over the other. So I do kind of miss those nails though. Here, those nails are fun. They were red on the underside. But then I always go back in and add. Do you guys hear how hard I'm hitting the brush? <laughs> I was taking the brush and just like knocking it. And I remember Kelsey being like, I felt bad for your brushes during that video. <laughs> taking a clean blending brush and going around the edge. This is a... Sephora Pro tapered crease. I'm not a real big fan of Sephora brushes. No offense if you are. But for I pro love line, that I brush. Really like the pro Fun line. fact. They're soft. Cadence used to help me clean my brushes sometimes. Job. And um, they're the same price as a Mac. Yeah, it stopped when so, she completely destroyed that choose. brush because she like she went softer. straight in and, and was like oh, going like this and she pushed all the hairs line. all up into it. So that brush is gone. A little bit of a smoky effect. NARS, that little contour brush. I think I called it a pencil brush for four years. Okay, once I've done that, I take Muse, the red color. Do you hear that? Knocking the heck out of those brushes. Three or maybe halfway. And then the dark, darkest color icon just in this outer corner. I'm a little heavy, so I'm going to buff that out. 
Okay, so now I'm happy with the way this looks. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I actually found that I really like this. I'm not a big drugstore person. It's just personal preference. You guys, I still use but this. Let me get into my drawer. Eyeliner is, or I guess it's I cream eyeliner. love I really the elf like liner it. still. Still love that stuff. Quickly. It's $3 and it's black. It's matte black and I love it. I don't want a wing. You can do a wing if you want. But I just want a thin line to go from the outer just towards the middle. But I don't want to go all the way in. And I'm using a NARS 47 brush. Yes, it is still my favorite liner brush. I love this brush so, so much. This one right here, the bee's knees. Line. brush also does a really good job of getting right inside my lashes to apply the product. That was just one go at this liner. I, I can't complain. Three dollars, I can't complain. Okay, now I'm going to take, this is a MAC chromographic pencil, an NC15 NW20. Instead of putting white in my waterline, I really like to use this, uh, like almost like a concealer color. I remember when this much. got discontinued, this is great and I couldn't find anything to replace it. I use this all the time, okay. so that's why I'm now so I'm happy that I finally have Milk BCC, because I used to use that all the time. And here we have so I'm extended play. I love it. I don't use that on my on top, top lashes, lashes at all anymore. So um, it holds the false but I was lash. using it for the base to my lashes. My false lashes I was about to put on. Love it. Okay. Okay. Now, before I put on my false lashes, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyebrow because I find that if I go in while my mascara is still a little wet that I have a hard time putting on my lashes. So I'm going to be using Anastasia Brow Wiz. I never have the same routine for my brows. Some days I like them like this with nothing in them. Some days I like a little bit of a shadow. Today I'm going to be using I used to use brow in ebony. a black pencil and, and then yes. I filled them in oh, well, with a almost black brown gel as you guys okay, are about to this. see. What I like and to do I will never kind of forget the very first time that Kelsey me saw me without to kind of ebony from Anastasia area, Beverly Hills. Like I think I used soft brown brow. instead. I've and then I used clear brow gel. Brow she was like, your brows aren't black. <laughs> I was like, you like them? She said, yes. I, I will never now forget that. Like we were at H&M. I, I remember. If that even makes sense. I mean, I didn't go too ham in this video, but yeah, I definitely okay, so I had some dark so brows. I might insert a picture. I might. We'll see. Sparse. Is again because that's I definitely have sparse, sparse eyebrows in this uh, video. So sparse. <laughs> a bit at the top. So I like to give it some definition. I hate how I used to do the tail end of my brow. I wouldn't push the hairs up at all. Like, I would just let them kind of stay down so it was way more angular. I don't know. It, it bothers me to see it now. I know they weren't bad, but... Um, it's my favorite one I've used. I've very used I've used the clear ones. I've used... Here we are. Black brow gel. It's good brow gel. It's just that when you have really thick brows that are already black... And you put this in there. Again, it's not terrible in this video, okay, so but it's now just. I've done that, the brows are can done. you imagine that with me now? Like, and I'm gonna take a little bit of Aurora from this palette again on my 242. Okay, Keep getting a this. glimpse of that contour, like so I don't bam. Like color on there. <laughs> take a little bit of that and just place it right in the arch of your brow. That's what I do to That's highlight. What I do to highlight that area. Okay. Fix my hair. And I'm going to move on to my uh, lashes. I'm using drugstore lashes because I really like these. I used to hate them 
MAC 35s, like, biggest MAC lashes you can possibly get. If you don't know what those are, if you don't know what those are, wore them they are some of every the most dramatic day. lashes in life. But I've been using these. These are Salon Perfect um, Glamorous Multi Pack Demi Wispy. I don't know. That's what's on this side. I love them. They. I mean, obviously they're fake, but they don't look too overwhelming. I can go to Walmart in these and feel comfortable. I can go to Walmart so in I'm these and feel take comfortable. I'm one of those. I've already got it out. And what I like to do first is because the band is like that little plastic band. And it's this is wide, one thing that I, I still take, am I to this day. Four years ago, even to now, I don't so like a lash band that has like those thick bands. I like the fish hook or fish hook, the fish line style of band. And run it along the and I'm taking. It kills me how purpose. much really could have been um, taken out of this video. No particular reason. I like it. And it again, works, how so hunched over I am. I don't like the duo glue. I don't think it lasts long enough. If I tear up at all, and my eye, my eyes are notorious for tearing up. I don't my get really teary eyed anymore. I don't know why. I used to get real teary. Ooh, ooh, on the okay. back corner here, and it would burn. I let it dry for about thirty seconds. But I still don't like the duo glue because and I agree, it still does. Oh, it does not tweezers. last, and it does not stick. It takes so long. For it to even get okay. tacky. Now, when I feel like they are sticky enough, sorry, I have a hair on it. I take them and I put them right over top of the my lashes. This is one thing. The fact that I was able to get these even on on camera is beyond me. It might not be the clearest thing, but I have such Let's a hard time doing see. liner and, and lashes on, mas on lash. mascara on camera. So, I mean, like, go me for being able to do it the very first time. Ta-da! Love them. Okay, and the last thing is our lips. More lime I crime. I am using Lime Crimes Cashmere. I have already put a primer Can't on Can't tell lips. you I how many of those I have lip. gone through. I love that stuff. Put it on, wait 30 seconds, let it get a little sticky, and then put on your lipstick. I've had this on for the whole video, so mine's ready to go. And I'm going to take this. I'm not going to use any liners. That's what I love about Ooh, this, is that it's that just easy. that little slip right there. I was getting good. <laughs> I clearly had not figured out iMovie. I feel like I still haven't figured out iMovie. I tried to download um, Final Cut Pro. I did like a one month trial. I am technologically challenged. There you go. That's the finished look. Hope you guys, right, have, you a guys have a great day. day. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was, I just, uh. So that was my very first video. Again, it is on private. Now you guys can see it clearly, but it's just so funny to me watching from four and a half years ago all the way to where I am now. I mean, even last year's video, sometimes I'm like, oh, why did I do that? You know, people evolve and I feel like I can finally be myself on camera, whereas before I was so scared of what everybody had to say about my faux hawk, about my makeup, about my tattoos, and then you could slowly see from the very beginning all the way till now where I'm just like, I'm just me, you know, take it or leave it. I'm, I don't know, I think I'm a little bit more fun now. I'm just like I said, I am more me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. And uh, let me know what you think about my very first video, Hunched Over and Terrified. <laughs> I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.